here. Hello everybody, sorry for being late today. Let me just organize everything here. Okay, so the live is on. Today I'm not going to make a long live, it's going to be really short because I am preparing everything. I'm still preparing everything for the origami tree and I kind of need to finish this really fast because it's almost Christmas. And I just created this origami here. E aí Pietro, beleza? Mal aí pelo atraso hoje. Que tá ficando meio corrido. Várias coisas acontecendo ao mesmo tempo. Let me just see here. This here, this here. Ok. So I've been practicing more English, reading some texts and things, but it's really hard <laughs> to, to get used to English. But anyway, this week I created, come on, let me see here. This week I created this origami tree. It's not assembled right now. I am dis I just disassembled it because I wanted to see better ways to assemble it. and. The problem is that I have to finish creating this origami because it's almost done but uh, the way you assemble it it's getting a little bit too hard and I need to finish the tutorial for this and I wanted to finish this either today or tomorrow I need to finish it and let me just show how it works. This one is actually a modular, modular with lots and lots of modules because you need one, one square sheet of paper for each leaf here. So it's a lot. Uh, let me count here. It's six for each row here. So I'm using six here. See? And then I'm just trying to figure out figure out a way to assemble this with this cuz there are several ways to assemble it. I'm just trying to find the best way cuz as you can see I left two small flaps here. Here. I don't know if you can see here. But there are these two small flaps and you are, you can assemble it inserting here below these two small flaps so the model will get like this see one layer here and the next layer here so it's not hard to make this origami, but depending on the way you assemble, you you will have to make like either a 50 something. Let me see here. Six, six, 12, uh, I'm sorry, about 50, 54 <coughs> modules or depending on the way you assemble you have to make 80 something like this so I'm trying to see if it's better to just make less modules and assemble in one way or make more modules and assemble like this you know uh, inserting one layer inside the other and well it's going to be clear clearer tomorrow when I finish making the tutorial so everyone will be able to see what I'm talking about <clears throat> so let's let's read some comments uh, what do you do for a living? 
Okay, so until like three months ago, I was working in an engineering engineering company, but I was working. I used it to be a math teacher, and then I became a, I started to work in that engineering company. But after four years working there, I just stopped working, and I am trying to make the YouTube cham YouTube channel grow so I can work with origami. So right now I'm working only with origami, and it's getting better, you know, because when I started uh, like three months ago, I was uh, the channel was really really weak. I I couldn't leave. I, I mean, right now I still can't live with origami, uh, but I still have the my savings from the other jobs, so I can keep making these videos. But my plan is to make the channel grow more, so I can live from the channel. Uh, Fear tree by Francesco. Garnieri, can you check it out? Let me see here. Fear tree, Francesco Garnieri. Fear tree, Francesco Garnieri. Yeah, it's. So, this origami here is also with several modules, right? At least it looks like. Yeah, it's probably several mod modules like mine like the one I made so um, yes it is something similar similar to this but the difference is that mine yeah, it needs more modules because his his model it, it has uh, some volume, you know, the the uh, each model has more. Uh, how do you say it? You need less layers, and for my origami tree, it is quite flat. It, each layer is flat, almost flat. So you need more layers in order to give uh, the the height of the of the tree. Okay, so uh, this is the problem with with my origami. You need a lot of layers because what gives the height of the of the on the tree is the amount of layers you use. So you need to make lots and lots of layers. Let me just put here. But even then, the the module per se is not really hard to make because I could fold this whole tree in about one hour, one and a little bit more than one hour. So it's easy to fold. And the only problem with this is that you have to cut a lot of a lot of paper with the specific size, you know, because uh, the bottom part here it uses an eight centimeters paper so it's about three inches three and something so here is eight centimeters then it goes to six and a half six point point five centimeters then five centimeters and four centimeters and you use 12 16 16 of each each paper. Well, I'm still figuring out how to make this, and that's why I, I've been quite busy this week trying to figure out a way to make this origami. The tree by Joe Nakashima is very easy. Yes, his his origami is very easy. His tree is is a, a very simple one, and it looks looks good 
And well, uh, the idea when I created this was that I wanted to try to make something a little bit more uh, with more leaves, you know, make something with more that looks just a little bit more realistic and it's not really hard to fold. It's not really realistic, still has, you, you see the triangle shapes that gives this origami characteristic to it, but it has more, more leaves. I am still not satisfied with the way you assemble it and that's what I was trying to figure out and that plus everything that's happening here in the it's almost Christmas and and I have to organize everything for for the uh, how to say it for the New Year's Eve and everything and I was trying to finish all these origamis really quickly because everyone because uh, if, if I finish this in I mean during this week it's going to be too late I need to finish this origami and the tutorial either today or tomorrow because then it's going to be really hard for anyone to fold it if if I take any longer that's why I've been quite busy and this origami I made something like 12, uh, 12 different kinds of tree but didn't uh, I didn't like most of them and this one is the last one because uh, as you can see this one uses a lot of modules and I tried to make a tree with just a single sheet of paper or just two sheets of paper but I really didn't like it because it got way too hard to fold So uh, today I wasn't really planning to make a long life, okay, I was just trying to show what I'm doing just so I can make a, a live video and so I can update everyone but I really can't stay too long in, in this live video today. But well Either way, I can still talk a little bit and maybe uh, answer some questions. But I think most of the people who are here already already know a lot about me. You know, <laughs> are mostly people who uh, most mostly it's people who already watches all my live videos. Uh, let me read here. Uh, Amores da Si. Oi, curto muito, seu origami. curto muito origami. <risos> ah, então. Vamos lá, né? Acompanha o meu canal aí. Dá uma força. A gente vai fazendo mais, mais e mais origamis. Quero criar cada vez mais origamis. My membership is ended. I will try to upgrade to Angels. I just don't have the money right now. No, it's, it's good. <risos> But you can still access my videos, right? Well, um... Either way, I just made another level of membership, you know, a lower level that is below the, the friends anyway. If you just want to, to watch my videos, watch the members exclusive video, I made the, the lower version. So I still need to find a way. Well, it, it's more for next year, but Next year I'm going to finish making more things, you know, uh, organizing everything for members. And I think it's it's doing good right now because <clears throat> I because at least now I have members enough to to keep my channel, right? Cuz until like Two months ago, I couldn't keep my channel because <laughs> I didn't have enough members nor enough monetization from YouTube. But I'm trying to study ways to to um, copyright copyright the 
diagrams and start to sell the diagrams and do the things like uh, partnerships, distribution. <clears throat> and there's still a long way. I, I've been studying a lot about copyrights this week because, you know, I've asked it, uh, some people to remove the videos from uh, unauthorized origami tutorials and some people just ignore or didn't didn't remove the video or said that would remove and didn't remove so I've been studying how to make th all these copyright things and it takes it takes some time but anyway uh, I'm going to make a video later about copyright just to give a uh, a path for origami folders and origami creators how to protect your your origamis so let me read more comments here uh, what what is the white origami in the back the white origami you mean the origami angel I have two white origamis here the origami angel okay And the origami fairy. Let me just hold it better. I don't have the tutorial for this one, but I have the tutorial for the origami angel. Some of your new favorite designer, like before. Uh, this week I didn't see much about new designers, but uh, there was a new origami from from Obelisk, and Obelisk is is really great. His origami is are really great. I mean, uh, the the folds, the folds he makes, it's all so clean. You know, uh, I don't know, I don't know how he does that, but he has a lot of details in his or in his designs. The way he makes the the shape, the human human shape, you know, because I tried to make this origami, uh, okay, uh, it was like four years without making any origami and then I tried to, tried to create this origami and it got way better than I thought I would be able to make an origami but even then I see that the folds are not clean, you know, uh, especially here I don't see, I don't see no I, I can see some some problems you know in the folds and the skirt also I mean it looks way better than I expected but still if you compare this origami with the origami that obelisk creates of human figures his origami are, are way more clean way cleaner way cleaner <laughs> than mine so i need to improve this and well i have time to improve this i need a little bit more time you know to to get better at origami <clears throat> i need to uh, practice again and i didn't fold too many human figures but well i can I can just keep improving. Uh, que papéis você recomenda para comprar aqui no Brasil? Ah, o papel que eu recomendo para comprar, eu não sei se todo o Brasil, mas aqui em São Paulo, pelo menos, eu compro esses... Eu tenho comprado esse daqui, né? Para origami complexo. Tenho comprado esse aqui, que é o Wenzhou. Wenzhou, sei lá como que fala. Mas eu tenho comprado esse aqui na papelaria universitária. E... Paguei 130 reais, mas é um rolo de 10 metros, então daria para fazer pelo menos, sei lá, uns 10 origamis mais ou menos. Então assim, ele não sai muito caro esse papel. É, se você procurar papel washi ou papel artesanal, aí cada folha sairia em torno de uh, 20 e tantos, 30 reais... Às vezes até 40 reais, então começa a ficar muito caro. Agora esse Wenzel, ele, ele já 
é, atende bem para origami complexo. Né? Ok, so let me see here, what else? No, it's not for the videos, it's to support you. <laughs> I just don't want you to leave again. Yeah, I, I'm not leaving. <laughs> But thank you, thanks a lot. It means a lot to me. That, I, I mean, it means a lot to me that I actually have a lot of people supporting me after four years without making a new video. And uh, let me just show how to make each module of this because it's really, really fast. After some practice, I, I spent less than a minute to make each, each of the modules. Oh, this one is the module. Okay. So it's just, it's just this. Você usa papel, eu gosto de usar papel de seda. Papel de seda é bom, cara. O problema é que rasga muito fácil. Então, quando você começa a dobrar muito, começa a ficar difícil de fazer alguns detalhes, dependendo do, do origami. Mas o papel de seda é muito bom, principalmente se você preparar ele ou passar um pouco de tinta acrílica. Ok, let me see. Wonderful angels. We'll be keeping an eye on what you're doing. Thank you. I need to make a new version of the angel. It is be, it's been a long time since I created an origami angel. And angels are actually the first kind of origami I created. That's why I have three versions. So, like this. And then you just open one side. And you open the other side. Duas folhas de papel de seda colado já funciona bem melhor mesmo. Ele fica bem mais mais resistente, né? It's 11 p.m. So gotta go. So see you. Uh, this year I won't be able to make more live streaming. At least for uh, at least until next year. Because I can't make plans if I, uh, if I, I don't know how my plans is going to be this the end of year, the end of this year. So I won't be able to make live videos until next year. Okay. So you just fold both sides, and then on this side you fold the flap like this. See. And on the other side, you just make this. This two folds, and that's all. This is each module. After some practice, uh, you spend like uh, one minute to fold each of these and to assemble it. Let me unfold one here. Let me disassemble one here so I can show. Okay. So I have this one and this one. Right? And you just assemble it by inserting this flap inside each other. See? And you fold this flap here. And this flap here. Okay. And after you you assemble six, you get this. I still didn't figure out a way to assemble. I mean, I, I figure out a way, but I didn't figure out the best way. I'm trying to 
find the best way to assemble. But you will have, let me see here, something like this, right? You have six, six modules, modules on this. So the next one is going to be over this one, right? So one way to assemble it is to align Oh, it's the opposite. Okay, like this. One way to assemble it is to align both both layers, and then you insert another. Let me take this. Okay. So you have this. One way is to align both layers like this. And then you insert another one here in the middle. You will see that there there is a way to to fix everything inside the other. Okay. Uh, it's hard to make it focusing on the camera, <laughs> but. Okay, it's going to look like this. See, I just inserted a new layer, one layer, one module here in the middle. So it's going to hold both layers. And you do this once here and the other on the other side, and you have two layers attached together. So this is one way to do it. This is one way I, uh, I think uh, this is the way that you are going to need uh, the least amount of paper because you're just using one one module to hold two layers together, right? But the other way I was studying if it's better to do is to just after you finish after you finish one layer, you make this the next layer already on this so instead of instead of making a layer with six modules and then the next layer with six modules if you just insert this module inside the other one here like this see you insert one inside the other and then you keep doing this, insert the next layer here, okay, the, the next module here. So I started inserting this and then I did insert this and then you make this, the fold on this flap. So if you keep doing this, you know, uh, inserting each layer until you finish making six modules, inserting six modules, you you will keep making the tree bigger and bigger. But the problem is that this method here, although it gets way more, uh, the tree gets way stronger. You know, uh, it's going to spend two times more more modules. And that's that's the the way you fold this organ tree. Six eight in India. Yeah, it's very late, but uh, I think that this uh, this is the best hour to make the live video because although it's a little bit late in India, it is better because uh, you you also get people from the U.S. and people from Brazil. The only people that really gets really hard to watch the live videos are people from Japan but uh, you also get people from Europe to watch the video to, to watch the what the watch oh to watch the live video because uh, I tried to make at 10 a.m. once but at 10 a.m. people from the US at 10 a.m. here in Brazil people from uh, the eastern side 
of the US can't really watch the live video it gets too early uh, let me see here eu gosto de usar papel de seda papel de seda, papel de seda com papel alumínio e duas folhas de papel ah, isso aí eu já li uh, hey Tadashi, I've followed your video for such a long time and just following along and making origami helped me so much with my depression in the past much love for, for coming back oh, I'm really glad that I could help really uh, origami helps me a lot for a lot of things for me it's not much for depression it's more for uh, ADHD is that is that how you say it because I'm really I, I'm really bad at focusing on things but when I make origami it helps me calm uh, get calm you know because uh, how do you say it I have I use it to have hyperactivity. I don't know how to say that in English, but I had a lot of trouble focusing on one thing. But as I like to make origami, and I don't have to concentrate too much to fold an origami, I can just fold and talk at the same time. I don't need to think too much about what I'm doing. So uh, during classes, I use it to get a small piece of paper and keep folding while watching uh, the class and it really helped me a lot and it's something close to what fidget spinning spinners is that how you say fidget spinners fidget spinning you know the, those fidgets does for people they they just uh, keep doing something so you don't have to concentrate too much on one thing and you don't lose concentration on what you need uh, some people has this problem I, I mean I have a sister-in-law that doesn't really have this problem and he finds really really weird you know that you have to do something else because she when she studies she says that she gets so concentrated that she doesn't uh, she doesn't have to see other things how to say it in English you concentrate it too much you concentrate so much that you don't have to uh, you don't listen to other things uh, while you are studying and I don't have that if I'm studying I just I, I anything just distracts me oh thank you Shangnara Thanks a lot. They're my second account. <laughs> really, thank you for your all, all your support. You've been you've been helping me so much. I really appreciate that. Okay, let me see what else. Uh, two or three months before when I see your comeback video, it just made my day. I was very happy and excited. <laughs> it's really I, I'm really glad to be back. Really. Really, it's 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 not good only for for the people who want to see my origami. It's good for me too, because uh, it was I was missing this. And to be honest, it it was also good that I had this four years hiatus, because I have new ideas. You know, because for example, doing live videos, I. I wasn't really planning to make live videos at least in back in back four years ago I wasn't really prepared for this but now after all this time I decided that it's it's a good thing you know to make the live videos and keep in touch with everyone not not only to to have a new content on or anything like this but to have this contact you know to, to talk with everyone Uh, let me see. Uh, muito feliz em te ver de volta. Gostava de fazer seus caças de origami na época e meus amigos ficavam impressionados. Recentemente voltei a fazer um origami e você voltou também. Que coincidência boa. Que coincidência boa. <risos> eu tenho feito os origamis de caça aqui e eu queria eu queria fazer mais alguns origamis de caça também. Voltar a fazer uns origamis de caça. É que eu estou mais concentrado em Natal agora, fazer essas coisas mais natalinas. Por enquanto... Mas provavelmente essa árvore de Natal vai ser o último origami que eu vou conseguir fazer esse ano, da parte de Natal. Então depois desse eu já 
volto a me concentrar em outras coisas. Vou ver o que eu vou fazer. Oh, there, my second, oh, yeah, it's, it's another logo, I didn't, I didn't notice their second account. Okay, so basically lots of distractions. Uh, you have no idea how excited I was when you came back. I used it for the game when I was 11. Now I am 20 and I'm starting to fold again. Yes, I really want to get back to this. Actually, it's weird now that most of my viewers, and it's not weird, it's, it's, also, it's obvious actually, but most of my viewers now has more than 18 years old. Uh, obviously, obviously because of the hiatus, but in another live I showed the graphic, you know, of how many people of each age uh, age group it was watching my videos, and most of the viewers has, and most of my viewers has from 18 to 24 years old. Back in the days, it was from 13 to 18, but after four years hiatus. I didn't, I didn't get new, uh, this new audience, you know, the people, the young people are not watching my videos that much anymore. But, well, it's also a matter of time, because I need to get back to creating new origamis. And, well, it's helping me. But nowadays it's also harder, because you have way more origami channels and a lot of origami channels with millions of subscribers and when i was making my videos there wasn't uh, origami channels with millions of subscribers i think only jonah kashima had uh, a million subscribers but now there are a lot of a lot of channels like this and what i am finding a little bit hard is that those channels those new channels are just taking origami from here and there and and reproducing the origami they don't even ask for authorization and every and, or anything they just get origamis from other channels reproduce the the origami again make another video and then they grow really fast because it's fast to just watch a video and reproduce it and make another video and this is actually one of the things that it's it's uh hindering a little bit of my the views and the uh, and my job because it's not really worth to create an origami if you can just copy other people's origami so that's why i'm trying to copyright everything and there are laws uh that you can uh, there are ways to copyright your origami so you can protect your your creation and uh, this is actually one thing that i need to teach more people you know because i am trying to copyright everything so i can take down some of the videos that uh, didn't ask for my authorization and doing this you can at least disencourage people from copying other people's origami and encourage them to at least at least modify the origami a little bit and do something uh something new you need to create something uh, a new origami in order to make the video you know um there was a word for this uh, when you take some something and modify and make another thing but uh, when you do this you at least you are at least creating something <clears throat> and i really need to encourage more people to do this but well uh, a lot of origami artists doesn't i think they don't know that they can do this so This is going to help the origami creators. Let me see here. I finally folded the, Dark the Darkness Dragon 2.0. The Darkness Dragon 2.0. Uh, yes, it is really hard. I don't. I don't need them. I don't even have it with me anymore. I don't know why. I don't know where I. 
I, I use it to always have the Darkness Dragon 2.0 with me. I probably gave it to someone and I don't remember who I gave it to. <laughs> but it's a really hard origami. The 3.2 is going to be easier to fold. Let me see. I bought some Winzo paper and I'm going to make some double tissue paper. Then I'm going to try to fold all your old models. For the Winzo, depending on the origami, you don't even need to make double tissue. If you just apply the CMC, it's going to be good to fold already. Of course, it depends on the origami. I think uh, the Darkness Dragon 3.2 I folded with the Winzo without using, without making uh, double tissue. Hello, P P was P was I don't know how to say P was. Uh, I think I can't do this. I think I can't do design origami for at least two years because of studies. Oh, what do you study? Or maybe I can't even fold, but I will try my best to support every artist. Thank you, man. Thanks a lot. It feels like such a coincidence that you were starting this channel again because I just rediscovered my interest in origami. <laughs> I also just re rediscovered my interest in origami. In this four years hiatus, I didn't even fold any origami. Uh, esses canais pelo menos dão uns créditos ou só roubam na cara dura? Olha, acho que a maioria até dá os créditos, tá? É, alguns eles só fazem origami, nem então não ligam para nada, né? E eu tenho conversado, tenho mandado e-mail, pedido para o pessoal tirar alguns origamis, tá? E pelo menos os maiores canais eles eles respeitam, eles falam, oh, pedem desculpa ver se tem algum jeito de deixar o origami lá. Só que, no fim, se você fala que não, não dá, porque, pô, realmente atrapalha o meu trabalho, né? E, e eles acabam apagando. Agora, os, os outros canais, os menores, eles acabam não, não fazendo nada disso. Só que eles não percebem que, assim, é, eu, eu, tô, eu vou pagar pelos direitos autorais, tudo certinho, e pela lei dos direitos autorais, o DMCA, é, Digital, não sei o que lá, Copyright Act, é, eles, eles vão tomar um strike no canal. E strike no canal é muito ruim, até para divulgação do próprio canal. Tá? E depois de três strikes, você perde o canal. E assim, tem canal de um milhão de inscritos fazendo isso. Então assim, não é inteligente, assim... É, é, tem leis é, eu estou registrando meu origami no copyright canadense e pela lei canadense eles é, esse trabalho ele está protegido de copyright contra vídeos também sabe é da pessoa fazer o vídeo então assim na lei americana eu acho que não 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 tem essa é, não tem uma lei que te protege mas na lei canadense ela protege e o YouTube, ela, ele, é, ele faz parte desse DMCA, que o, então ele tem que respeitar a lei canadense também. Então, se eu registro meu copyright no Canadá e jogo, peço para apagar o vídeo, ele toma um strike no canal. Assim, é, é, pô, é óbvio, na verdade, né, que você não pode copiar um, um copiar o um vídeo de outra pessoa, copiar o vídeo não, mas é, copiar uma criação, sabe? Copyright é exatamente isso, proteger a sua criatividade, uma coisa que você criou, que é de sua autoria. E é óbvio que se você não criou o origami, não criou todo o processo, e você assistiu um vídeo que a pessoa que criou todo o processo fez, é... E, e você só reproduz esse vídeo, é claro que você está infringindo copyright, sabe? Isso fora a parte ética e tudo mais, né? Mas, assim, é, é óbvio. E, e eu vou, vou ter que fazer, fazer isso, sabe? And so, I, I was talking about the copyright things. That uh, YouTube is compliant with the DMCA, the Digital Millennium... Uh, 
uh, Copyright Act. And there are some copyright institutions in, and laws in, in Canada and in the UK that protects origami. So if I, if I register my copyright there and ask YouTube to remove the videos that infringes my copyright, these channels are going to get a strike. And after three strikes, they just lose the, the channel. So it's not really smart to keep the origami. And I'm, I'm actually playing nice because I am asking, I'm, I'm sending message to these channels so they they can uh, so they have time to just remove the video or at least you know at least uh, how to say it? Um, unlist the video because uh, it, it it's not right you know to take someone uh, other people's creation and just teach to improve your channel without even asking for authorization. And this, of course, I'm talking about the, I'm talking about the ethical part, but even according to the Copyright Act, I, I can protect my origamis legally. And if they, they get three strikes, they lose the channels and some channels has millions of views. But <clears throat> I'm going. I'm also going to make a video later, uh, teaching the origami artists how to how to protect your origami. Because if if we keep doing this, if everyone does this, then the new the people making origami channels will be afraid that they will get three strikes. And I don't know. Even asking them, um, at least the big big channels, they they do remove the videos, and it makes a lot of difference. Because you know, the, the origami F, F15, I asked it two origami channels to remove the video from their channel and they did remove and in about one week my video got uh, over three times more views and it's, it's getting more and more views because, you know, it's two competitors, uh, two less competitors uh, teaching the same origami and and I really need I really want to I was trying to talk with YouTube about this and but they didn't really care about uh, helping origami artists they don't care about uh, what you you think it's right or wrong they just care about the the legal part and well it's a way to say things so it's okay but the thing is, the legal part also protects your work. Uh, the legal, uh, there are laws in, in some countries that will protect your work. And as YouTube is compliant to the, to the DMCA, they will have to legally strike the channels. Uh, if you prefer to speak in English because the audience feel, f because of the audience, feel free. I can understand it. I'm speaking in Portuguese because I think it's easier for you to elaborate the ideas. No, oh, it's okay. I just talk in Portuguese sometimes. Uh, sometimes I use it to speak in Japanese here, but my Japanese is not really good, so... <laughs> but it's okay to speak in Portuguese from time to time. Uh, or, or do you need to put your some CMC on the window paper? Yes, it's better to use CMC. Uh, actually, when you fold any complex origami, it is better to use to use CMC. If you use CMC, the paper, the folds are going to be more clean, you know, cleaner. Because uh, the CMC helps you, the fold to stay in shape. So when you make a fold, you don't have to keep pressing and and folding several times. You fold only once, and the paper will stay in shape. And. Sadly, Tadashi, I have no idea to create a new origami. Can you suggest me? Uh, can you suggest for me an origami so I can think for creating? Because I really have no idea. Uh, let me see. I have a list of ideas here. It it would be it would actually be really helpful if someone else tried to fold something. And if you create something nice, just send me the link so so I can also share 
on my community tab. So uh, the ideas I have here is in order: birds of prey, phoenix, griffin, unicorn, centaur, reindeer, Mario or Luigi, Lucario. I'm, I'm I think I'm not going to fold the Lucario because I am not. I I don't know the character that much. Uh, Mocking Jay. I think Mocking Jay was from the. Uh, what was the name again? Uh, from that movie, Mocking Jay. Ah, uh, come on! What was the name of the movie? Yeah, I forgot. I will remember later. Uh, Coffin Dance. Squid or octopus. Jesus. Jesus. I think it's probably the cross with Jesus. I don't know exactly what is this. Or maybe for... Uh, it's probably for Christmas, so it's not on the cross. It's the the baby Jesus, probably. I, I forgot what what was this uh, then the three-headed dragon three-headed dragon yeah <laughs> this one is going to be really hard to, to fold uh, Christmas decorations okay th this one I can remove already uh, stegosaurus 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 fold then uh, remake the witch I have uh, an origami witch I didn't teach anyone but I need to recreate it then the Hollow Knight character, the Hollow Knight Knight, and then some some uh, jet fighters, the Su twenty seven and Su thirty. Then the Goose from the Goose game. I think that's Goose with the the knife with from that meme uh, peace was never an option and that's it you're watching hunter 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 is really really good really good <laughs> hunter hunter uh, in my opinion it's the best anime but well uh as as hunter hunter is is a story you know, they talk more about the. Uh, it's an adventure. You know, Hunter Hunter is more of an adventure. So, I the only problem with Hunter Hunter is that it's never going to end. You won't have a finishing arc or anything like this, because you know it's an open story. You don't need to finish the story because it's not about. It doesn't have a, a final. Uh, final enemy or any, anything like this. It's just a, a lore. It's like trying to finish Lord of the Rings or Tolkien's books. You know, there are several things you can finish, several small arcs, but the story, the full story, is never going to finish. Uh, although I know that Lord of the Rings has a finish. But it's not exactly um, a finishing arc. It's just the general story that has a, a finish. Because the I forgot the name of the the Tolkien's god was E E A U something like this. <clears throat> he just uh, finishes the world, something like this, right? Finishes the song. Uh, let me see what else here. Uh, você tem algum livro publicado? Eu não tenho nenhum livro publicado. Eu tenho um monte de diagrama e tudo. Eu estou é, fazendo os copyrights do diagrama. E depois que eu terminar de colocar todos os copyrights, eu vou... Não mais colocar junto, junto com outros... Como falar? É, em outras coletâneas. Aí eu vendo o copyright de um origami para colocar numa coletânea. E vai funcionando desse jeito, sabe? Que, uh, porque assim, o... eu até queria, talvez, talvez eu possa fazer um origami juntando todos os meus li... todos os diagramas depois. Mas por enquanto eu não tenho algum, não tenho nenhum livro não. Eu tenho um monte de diagrama, mas não tenho livro. Uh, where can I buy the best origami paper on Amazon? I don't know. 
I, I really don't know. Uh, on Amazon, Amazon, maybe you can find the Wenzo paper there. Uh, there are several good papers, you know, they have the Korean Hanji washi paper or you have the papers from origamshop.com but you can, I, I don't know on Amazon exactly but I use it, I, oh, paper for kids, ah yeah, so you don't want paper for kids, you want paper for complex origams, right? So if you look for Wenzhou paper, maybe you can find on Amazon. I'm not sure. I have to search a little bit there. Okay, Ancient Dragon, Hunger Games. Yeah, Hunger Games, exactly. Hunger Games, the Mockingjay from Hunger Games. Okay, uh, does anyone know where I can find the Ancient Dragon tutorial? The Ancient Dragon, it's from the book, from Kamiya Satoshi. So, uh, you won't find a tutorial or if you find a tutorial it's going to be illegal it's not authorized to make the tutorial I, well probably you will find a, a video or something but uh, the tutorial is from the book seus vídeos antigos ainda estão rendendo ou são os novos que dão mais dinheiro são os novos que dão mais dinheiro, só que tem alguns vídeos antigos que ainda rendem. Na verdade, só dois vídeos antigos, que é o uh, Pentagon Rose e o, e o Caça, o F-15. São os dois únicos vídeos que estão rendendo ainda alguma coisa. E quando eu falo rendendo, é rendendo assim, uns 60, 70 reais por mês, cada um, né? Então, assim... É é só para dar aquela ajudada, né? eu, mas o que rende mais mesmo são os vídeos novos e o que mais me faz receber agora é, são os membros do canal, os membros do canal que estão me sustentando, pelo menos agora nesse começo, que eu ainda não tenho muita visualização, é isso que está me, me rendendo. Instead of Lucario, you, you may try Ryo. Lucario's pre-evolution is more on the cute side. I don't even know what's, what, the, what Pokemon is a Ryo. <laughs> I, I stopped it in the first generation of Pokemon. I know some, of, some Pokemons from other generations. Although I did play... Uh, which Pokemon was that? Pokemon X and Y. I, I just didn't... Uh, I didn't get attached to the Pokemons from that generation, so I don't even remember the, the Pokemons anymore. I really like Hunter x Hunter as well. Yes, it, it is the best shonen, I, in my opinion, it's the best shonen anime or manga. Shadow Bro Lova Deus do Sifo Mabona? No, o Lova Deus eu nunca dobrei não. E tem Box Splitting mais simples. Box Splitting mais simples? Cara, tem bastante, né? Porque depende da divisão que você usa. Mas tem bastante box splitting de divisão de 8x8. 8x8 é bem simples, no geral. Eu não tô conseguindo lembrar agora, de cabeça. Mas tinha, tinha aquele human figure, o, aquele homenzinho lá. É um box splitting bem, bem simples. <coughs> ok. Uh... Hey, it's just a general question. Do you still talk to Joe Nakashima? Um, I send, uh, not directly, but I used to sometimes send a comment on his videos or, or his Instagram, but it's not that much. I still have his contact. I have his phone number here. So I could talk to him, but it's been four years that I didn't talk to him. He's a nice guy. He's just really shy, <laughs> but he's a nice guy. Uh, let me see. That's some window paper. Okay, where do you buy your paper for complex origami? I buy in a store really close to my house. Uh, it's 15 minutes from my house. It's called uh, Papelaria Universitaria. 
so it doesn't really help people from internet you know to to buy but the paper i buy is called Wenzel paper the paper i'm using right now for complex origami qual foi o papel mais complexo que você já trabalhou o papel o origami mais complexo que você já trabalhou mas você tem falado o origami mais complexo né? o origami mais complexo eu acho que foi o western dragon pela dificuldade de de modelar ele, de moldar o, o, o shaping dele é muito difícil, muito difícil. Só que assim, eu não faço muito origami complexo porque eu não gosto de gastar mais do que, sei lá, umas 4, 5 horas para fazer um origami. Se passa disso, eu acabo perdendo a vontade de fazer. Eu não gosto de ficar vários dias fazendo o mesmo origami. Eu gosto de fazer assim, tem um, um limite de complexidade que eu gosto de fazer. Eu acredito que se eu fosse tentar fazer um origami mais complexo, eu conseguiria. É, quer dizer, é <risos> história de pescador, né? Fala que consegue e tal, mas é, assim, eu, eu acho que conseguiria dobrar uns origami mais complexos, mas eu não tenho vontade. Eu não tenho vontade por causa do tempo gasto. Uh, if you don't need origami paper, just make tissue foil. Tissue foil is, is actually good, but I think the only problem with tissue foil is that it gives some wrinkles, so the shaping is hard. You know, it's harder to make a clean fold with tissue foil. And if you use a paper, uh, uh, another more soft paper, it's going to make a better, a, bit, a better shaping in the end. It's harder to fold, but it gets a better shaping. Go to Origami Dan Discord server. There you can find someone who will help you. Ah, oh, okay. Uh, he's talking about S Saber Unchained. Okay. Uh, is Origami Dan a YouTuber? No, Origami, Origami Dan is a Discord, Discord server. I don't know who can... I don't know who can... Can anyone just invite anyone else no, on Discord? Who is better, you or Joe Nakashima? <laughs> who is better at what? I mean, who is better at folding origami? Fold, I think that it depends on what you're talking about. Because uh, Joe Nakashima also has really clean folds for his origamis. If it's about creating... Creating complex origami is prob probably me, because he doesn't really f create or teach complex origamis. He's more in the uh, intermediate, intermediate kind of origamis. But if it's hard, I mean, it's it's art, you know. It's each one have a style, a different style. So it's hard to to say who is better. It's different styles of origamis. But well, for complex origamis, it's it's probably me to fold and create complex origamis. But there is uh, how can I say? For example, his origami. Uh, chameleon, is that cham uh, it was that a chameleon? The, uh, the lizard thing that he created these days. That origami is really really clean. It's it's a great origami. So so it, it, it's really hard to create those kind of origamis, and especially when you try to make a uh, an origami, right? try to create an origami to be easy enough for a lot of people to fold and not just for yourself you know uh, it's really hard it's really hard to make to do this so he, he's also really really good at that you know at creating simple origami that looks great and i'm i'm not sure if he's better than me or worse than me we just have different different styles but yeah for if but if you're talking about complex origamis then probably it's me 
just because he doesn't make complex origamis. <laughs> and because uh, uh, you know there are some origami artists like Obelisk or like um, oh I forgot to Brian Chan, uh, people who creates those crazy complex origamis. And I really think that they are, they are, uh, how do you say, it? they're very talented and also uh, not, not only, not, not talented in the meaning, not meaning that he doesn't, uh, he didn't practice a lot, but these people, they start really early and at really young age, they already can fold lots of complex origamis and create some crazy things that I I can't create um, but uh, how do you say it uh, you have this this kind of people but for me and for Joe Nakashima at least I know that we started way uh, we didn't start uh, that early you know I started creating origami when I was 18 and he started creating even later but it's more about practicing and trying to figure out the best way to make each, each origami and even then it's really even then it's really hard to say who is better because obviously I can't make a good human figures like like Obelisk does, but I can create like the origami cat, you know, uh, get those or, or the origami um, Darth Vader. They are not realistic at all, but it's a very specific style of simple origami that just reminds you of the, the thing you want to fold, you know. Let me see what else. Big story. Has it, has anyone managed to adapt the cat model to the happy model? I can't figure out. Let me unfold the happy model because it's really it's really hard to make a tutorial for this. But the happy model, I would just unfold it so it's going to be easier for you to understand. Okay, so okay, this the front part is the cat model, right? It's exactly the same, except for this fold here that instead of folding forward, I fold it backward, right? So the arms are actually the flaps that in the cat model I did this I use I folded this flap I folded this flap forward right and then I inserted this flap into this gap here this is what I did on the cat model but here instead of doing this you just leave this layer backward and no you just leave this layer backward like this so this point here is going to be the arm you just narrow this layer a little bit and you have the arm see so the front part is just like this it's the same as the origami cat you just leave this part here to make the arm right okay now let's see the the back part it looks like this right and here I did the the hind leg and the tail but instead of folding it upward like this 
Okay, now you just fold this part upward the same way as the other origami. And then let me see here. What did I do here? Ah, okay. I just you just pull, you know, this okay, the cat is like this. You just pull the sides and keep making this this fold here in the middle. Okay. Oh, come on. Not now. Just wait. Okay. So, you just spread here the these two flaps. And here you narrow the middle. And this is the paper distribution, okay? This is the paper distribution. You have these two flaps and here you're going to make the tail. And then you just and then you're just going to pull pull this part here to make the wings. It's a little bit messed up right now, but the idea is this, the paper distribution is this. Aqui, cada um tem uma habilidade. Sim, cada um tem uma habilidade. Na verdade, é bem diferente um do outro, né? O jeito que cada um faz o, o origami. Porque o, o João Nakashima também ele faz uns origamis que eu acho, assim, muito animal. Por exemplo, sei lá, fazer o... Drag, o é, como fala? Marcador de página de dragão. Não é uma coisa... Não é qualquer um que faz aquilo, sabe? E ele tem umas ideias muito boas, assim, que... É difícil de falar. O que, que, que é ser melhor em origami? O cara tem ideias que os outros não têm. Então, que que, como é que você fala que um é melhor que o outro ou não? <risos> é difícil, né? É... Porque... É, na verdade, cada um, cada um acaba indo mais para uma área, assim. Ele é melhor em uma área que outra, tal. É, é, realmente, origami não é uma competição. A gente acaba fazendo, de brincadeira, acaba competindo um pouco, fazendo... Ah, vamos ver quem cria tal origami, né? Vamos, vamos criar tal origami. Uh, is, is the audio lagging? After the, the phone started ringing, I... I feel like my audio is lagging. Ok, você tem o contato do Robert... Você tem contato com o Robert Lang? Eu já mandei alguns e-mails para ele, que a gente já conversou um pouco, mas não muito. Yeah, John Nakashima is a really nice guy. He even gave me a heart and reply if someone comments. Oh, he's six years old origami. <laughs> really? <laughs> But he, he is. He... He just replies everyone. He, he's not really... I don't know how to say that in English, but... In Portuguese we say estrelinha. Ele não é estrelinha. Estrelinha. In English would be... A little star, you know? <laughs> People who feels like a star. So he's not, he's not those... Kind of people who feels like he's a star, so he's not going to answer everyone. Uh, my first and favorite intermediate level origami is that red six years old dragon. Red six year old dragon? What is what dragon? Yeah, it's lagging, right? It's because my phone rang and then I don't know why it started lagging. I won't be able to fix right now. But anyway, uh, I'm going to finish the live video today. I know it was shorter than usual, but I'm going to finish the live here because I need to finish the other origami. I need to finish the tutorial of the tree and I still didn't even record. So thanks everyone. Thanks a lot for watching this live video. And I will try to keep up uh, creating new things. The next live video is going to be only next year 
for now I'm going to focus more on creating origamis and and doing things for YouTube. Oh, I think it's not lagging anymore. Okay, so um, this year I'm not going to make another live video, just only next year. And I'm going to organize everything so I can I can improve my channel. I will keep improving my channel more and more. The more I improve the channel, the better. <clears throat> and I will also try to to get my reflux better because I'm tired of <laughs> of coughing every time. Uh, let me see here. What else? Growing, I was always astonished by the Darkness Dragon 2.0, and I was scared to fold fold it until now. People think that folding the origami darkness, darkness dragon or, or any complex origami is hard but it's not it's actually more about patience because once you learn intermediate level origami and you know how to do all the uh, how to say it uh, for, uh, sink folds and those crimp folds if you know the folds it's just about patience and folding slowly <clears throat> but I think that once you get to the intermediate level origami it's easy to get to any other to, to do any other origami let me see there's some copy changes yeah eat the white the white cara eu tô fi te já finalizando minha live hoje <laughs> Acabou chegando bem no horário que eu vou finalizar a live. Mas... Bom, então é isso. Eu agradeço muito aí a, a presença de todo mundo nessa live. I really want to thank everyone for watching my live video. And I'm going to finish here. And my phone is ringing again. So I'm going to finish here. Thanks a lot to everyone. And next year I'm going to make another 